Welcome back, everybody. So we are here on the Unorthodox server again. And I'm just taking a look around my base. And I have quite a bit to do before, before I got it all cleaned up and the way I want it to be. You know, these iron golems have been spawning like mad around here. I mean, it almost seems like the spawn rate has increased or something. And normally that would be something for like Enderman or something. Uh, maybe, or hopefully it'll keep up uh, when I put my iron farm together and I'll get a lot of iron. So I think today I want to start with some landscaping. So that means I need to invoke my imminent domain rights on these villager houses. You evict everybody and make way for my new city that I'm going to build right here. So I'm going to relocate all the villagers into a nice new facility over here on this side of town. And then I'll move them all back into the new houses when I've got all that done. So without any further ado, let's uh, get started. Oh, 
Well, that turned out to be quite an adventure. Because once I got started, I realized I needed uh, rails. And I didn't want to use up what little iron I had. So I decided to go on a quest to find a mine shaft so I can get some free rails. Okay, and eventually I did find a mine shaft. But I did also come across uh, a village, a chest in a village that was full of diamonds. Which I've never ever seen before. I mean, there was gold and diamonds in the chest, which actually is, I ought to raid more villagers that way. And then I also realized uh, it's good luck to have all these iron golems around because I was using them to protect me from the phantoms because I haven't been sleeping much because other people have been uh, sleeping and resetting it to daytime. So I don't really get in the bed much. So now uh, all I do when I hear phantoms coming in, I just run to the golems and hide behind them and then they just kill all the phantoms for me. Pretty sweet deal, I think. So I was able to get all my villagers into the little pen over here, or excuse me, not pen, into their new housing, temporary housing over here. Um, I didn't really use the mine uh, cart like I thought I would. I basically ended up just uh, putting them in a boat and sailing them over into the pin that was a lot easier most of the time so i guess i didn't need to go on that mine shaft run so now i can get started i need to chop down all these houses and then level all this area just make a clean slate for me to build my uh, new city I've uh, torn down almost all the houses here in the village, except for the one I uh, conscripted as my personal home that has, still has too much stuff in it for me to tear down. And then I've got this other one over here, which uh, I've got some sheep in. I need to tear that one down too. But I think uh, what I'm going to do is build my iron farm now so I can be collecting iron while I do the landscaping because I have to level this whole area. So I might as well. Uh, be getting some resources while I am uh, working. So the iron farm is going to go over here on this small little peninsula which is right across the river. I figured this would be far enough away from the main village not to interfere with it and it should uh, work. So this whole side of my base anyhow is going to be uh, like farms and industrial and all that kind of stuff and then the villagers houses and stuff that I'm going to rebuild is going to be all the way on the east end where the main village uh, was anyhow. So 
So I think to get started, I'm going to uh, landscape this, level this all off, and then we will start uh, building the iron farm. And I'll come back and uh, give you a good tour of the place. Okay, that finishes up my iron farm. Let's go take a quick look over there. Just do a little bit of flying. Oop, 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 oop. Oh, ha, ha, perfect. I still need to do, you know, decoration landscaping around here. I've got all this leveled off. I'm going to uh, cut back this here so there'll be a two tier. So there'll be a level here with a little bridge that goes across to the mainland over there and then this part will be kind of like a just a plaza area because I'm going to have an iron farm here and I've got a few other buildings that are going over where probably actually one will go where sheep is and one will go where pig is so that's they're just uh, outlining that for you there but I kept this as simple simple little building with my IF there so you know it's an iron farm that way you don't forget now uh, we're a little empty in here. This is eventually going to be chests and storage. And then I'm going to try out the auto crafter. So I'll uh, have a filter system. So the uh, drops, which will be iron and uh, the poppies, will come down into a filter system. So the iron will go one way, poppies will go the other. And then we'll auto craft the iron into iron blocks and we'll store them into chests down here. Um, don't figure I'm gonna get You know, I can fill this with chest, but I don't think it's gonna I'm, I'm gonna have that much iron But uh, you never know I got plenty of room so I'm gonna use it and then I'll do the poppies 
over in one corner over there. Maybe have a crafter to make uh, red ink, although stacks of poppies making red ink is not that hard. So let's take a look here. So we come around here. The way I've got this set up, it's not really meant for me to come up here. That's why I've got this kind of janky little uh, bridge up here. Uh, but for now, I've got it so I can come up here and get the iron and it drops off. Um, eventually, this will all be hoppers that go all the way down once I get enough iron. But I did set this up so I can actually sneak through here and get in here to talk to these guys. And go, and then see, you know, if I wanted to, I could do the trades with them if I needed to. I don't think I need to. But they've got their beds here, and then I was really lucky i tried and tried to get zombies and i was having trouble and finally one i f didn't light up the area down below and this guy spawned just like that so he's a villager zombie and he has a, a black sword in his hand i can't tell it's probably a stone sword maybe so he, he actually spawned with a sword in his hand so i was able to pick him up into the vine cart and i just dropped him in there right there and I think that actually works out rather, rather well because they can, you know, these guys are be, you know, going to be walking around here and they're going to go, ah, and get scared of the zombie and run around. But then they'll be over here going like, oh, this is chill. I don't need to worry about anything. So that is perfectly what you want. You want the villagers to not be scared all the time because you want them to be able to come in here and go to sleep. But you also want them agitated because they've got noisy, bad neighbors next door. So they're going to call for help, which will be the iron golems, which will be spawning up there and dying. Although I haven't heard any spawn up there and die while we've been up here. But so that is my iron farm. And that is the end of this episode. I want to thank you all for tuning in and checking it out. Um, I want to... Uh, direct you to the links in the description of this video to all the other Unorthoblox server members. Uh, they should all be putting out videos, or at least most of them, so you can uh, tune in and check out those videos and see how uh, the rest of the server is doing. So until next time, I want to say thank you very much for watching and have a wonderful day. What the... What the heck happened over there? Well, we'll have to find out. Okay, goodbye.